What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I have two of the very best phones this year. One being the Galaxy Note 8 and the other being the Pixel 2 XL. Now in the past, phones that I've had for Samsung's the Galaxy series have lagged and eventually become really, really slow. And this year has been an exception. The Galaxy Note 8 hasn't lagged on me at all and it's extremely fast. When you get a Pixel phone or a Nexus device, just anything that runs stock Android, it's usually always fast, there's no lag, it's just great overall. So it's one of the, something in the past anyway, it's usually been one of the few phones that doesn't have lag over the uh, course of time. And uh, Samsung usually has gotten lag. And like I said, this is the first year I'd have to say that these phones are basically equal with the way that they react in terms of performance. It's crazy and it's, it's gonna be tough for any phone at this point to beat the Galaxy Note 8. And I just wanted to show you like, just speed wise, day to day usage, these phones in action. So when you when I'm using these phones, you know, I'll open up these two apps at the same time. They generally, even though they have uh, the Snapdragon 835, the Galaxy Note 8 does have six gigabytes of RAM versus the, the Pixel 2 has four gigabytes of RAM. But regardless, these phones are extremely fast. I don't have any other apps open just to show you. Uh, I, have, I have just one app open because I just opened that up. And it's amazing, super impressed with these two devices, especially uh, the Galaxy Note 8. Um, you can see the Pixel opened it slightly faster. Well, it's actually loading, so actually the Note 8 loaded it faster. Uh, it's just amazing, I'm so impressed uh, with this phone, uh, the Galaxy Note 8. It's like, honestly, it's the first time I've run into one, this phone, the Galaxy series, where it's been the same exact speed. I'm absolutely loving it. They, they either open at the same time or slightly within each other. There's really, you know, nothing to be upset about if you ended up with a Galaxy Note 8. Um, and the Galaxy Note 8 has way more features at this point, you know, software wise with what it can do. If you really like to tinker with your phone, you're gonna love the Galaxy Note 8. And uh, just to run through a couple things here, just to show you guys, super impressive. Plus the screen on the Galaxy Note 8 is pretty much unbeatable it's really a beautiful screen all right let's see let's open up. let's op see if which app opens up first with instagram you can see pretty much instantaneous they, the the gal the the pixel 2 opens up quicker but then this phone picks up catches up because it loads it faster so let's open up let's do facebook next actually let's do twitter one two three you can see both open up the first time and then, well, it looks like the Pixel did it a little bit quicker that time. Hit home, hit home. So it's they're really, really good phones. Uh, you're not gonna be unimpressed either way with any of these phones. Um, the, the, the thing I, I love about the Galaxy this year is, like I said, is the, is the speed of this phone. There's no lag. Uh, it's got, uh, the, the software is just, you know, it's good now. It used to be so clunky and had the little bloop blurps and stuff and uh, now it's almost it's not stock android it's not that far removed from what they used to do but at the same time it's just really useful software there's things i turn off like i don't really care about the edge uh that much at all the edge is not important to me but you know if you so if you like a lot of software you love that samsung experience you're gonna love the galaxy note 8 but just speed wise you know like i was saying earlier it's just it, there's there's no there's no comparison at this point between the two phones. You're either going to get better performance with the Galaxy Note 8 in an app or with the Pixel. But regardless, they're so close. Some this one will win sometimes. This one will win the other times. But it, they're so close and there's no lag. Uh, and if you're looking for the best phone of the year right this second, you know with what we know with what I have with the Pixel 2. Uh, with the, you know, it doesn't have all of its software optimizations that they, uh, that they told us about, uh, like the AR stuff and some other software tweaks, but the Pixel, the, the, the Galaxy Note 8 is amazing, guys. It's a really awesome phone. It, it surprises me uh, more and more every day. It's, it's, it's tough to stick. Right now, the Pixel 2 has been my daily driver, and it's tough to just uh, to get away with it because the screen is so pretty. Uh, it feels great in your hand, especially if you have a nice case on. I have the 2D case, which I reviewed. It's a really nice case, and it's just so, so cool. Let's see. 
Pixel loaded it quicker. It's, it's kind of funny which app loads faster. Sometimes it's Pixel, sometimes it's the Note 8. But regardless, guys, you can see just moving around within the OS, there's really um, not that much difference, if at all. There's really no difference. When you go into the menus to look at the settings, they're somewhat similar. Samsung does it a little bit differently, but overall, you shouldn't get lost. If you're used to the Pixel, you shouldn't be lost when you go into the Galaxy Note 8 or vice versa. Uh, the screens on these, right now, I would have to definitely give it to the Galaxy Note 8. I don't think any, any phone's gonna beat the Galaxy Note 8 screen. Speed-wise, though, they're pretty much equal as being the, the, some of the fastest phones on the market today. So that's my quick little overview, guys, of these two phones. Very impressed with both phones, especially the Galaxy Note 8. One of the pain points I've had with this phone in the past has been speed and, and, and lagginess, and I just do not get any lag in the operating system whatsoever. It's been awesome so far. I've been loving the Galaxy Note 8. So if you wanna pick up either of these phones, guys, Definitely do it. I don't think you'll go wrong either way, but if you're looking for the phone of the year, right this second, I mean, I know it's really early with me having this phone, but right this second, if you were choosing between one of these two phones and you really wanted a, a true flagship phone that has every single feature, you'd have to go the Galaxy Note 8. If you don't need every single feature and you just want that vanilla Android experience, go the Pixel 2 XL, guys. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.